As soon as we recognize that God Almighty is taking care of the children of Israel and wants to take care and is taking care of the entire world population, that all these ideas are fabricated by the Marxists, by Amalek, whether it's the Marxists wearing Israeli uniforms or it's whether the Marxists wearing PLO uniforms, the Marxists wearing Syrian uniforms, or Iraqi uniforms, or the Marxists wearing the Iranian uniforms, all of them are cooperating for the same objective to intimidate the children of Israel, God forbid, into surrendering. And our job is not to allow that to happen. We want to make sure this message gets to every single human being. Won't you please help support this work? We need your help to get this message out to every Jew and every non-Jew. The actions to take, have your money come to rabbismith.org so that we can get a message of hope to every human being. In uh, 2004, 2005, when the is, uh, Israeli government was attacking the people of Israel to get them to agree to use their own forces to accomplish what the Marxist terrorists could not accomplish, which was to create a terror base in Gaza. They were doing that by intimidating the children of Israel and threatening them. At the time I said that the greatest threat to the children of Israel is Israeli intelligence. Because they their professional occupation is to lie to the children of Israel about the threats, about the dangers, to intimidate them, to cause them to surrender, to mislead them, to deceive them, to hide from them when there is real attacks coming, to claim that there's real attacks coming when there's no real attacks coming. It's a tremendous deception against the children of Israel. And it's, that's exactly what they did in order to get the children of Israel to uh, stumble and to cooperate into having the, um, the, their own children being used as a battering ram on behalf of the Marxist terrorists to destroy the Jewish communities of Gaza and to destroy the lives of the Arabs of Gaza by turning them over to the hands of the Marxist terrorists, the Israeli intelligence made up statistics, fabricated statistics of a population growth and the size of the Gaza population and the size of the population growth to create the impression that it was going to be dangerous for the Jewish people to continue to live in Gaza and maintain the security of the Gaza res Jewish residents and maintain the security of the Gaza Arab residents. And these people lied and lied and lied and the Israeli intelligence lied and fabricated information and came and testified to the Knesset to lie and it released false information and fabricated information to lie to the people, the Jews and the Arabs living in the Holy Land. And that has only increased the lies and the deception. The pur main purpose of Israeli intelligence is to deceive the children of Israel. And that is what they do. They, they are doing that now by creating the impression that there's dangers in the world and it's creating the impression that everything possible to badger and deceive and demoralize the children of Israel into surrendering. And what came what, what came apparent in, in considering this, that we know that the Lubavitch Rebbe has always pointed out that the land of Israel is the safest place. When people, safest place in the world, it says, in the book of Deuteronomy and Devarim, <clears throat> chapter 11, verse 12, This is the holy land, the land that God Almighty cares about and He takes care of and He's looking, he's, he's, His eyes of God Almighty are on this holy land from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. And the Lubavitch, the Lubavitch Rebbe would say to people who were concerned about whether they should go to Israel, whether the times when... The, one of the other deceptions was going on with the threats of uh, missiles from Iraq, which the Israeli government helped uh, helped make sure that that operation against the children of Israel was successful by threatening the children of Israel with dangers and manufactured dangers of those missiles and uh, intimidating the children of Israel to wear masks and run into the bomb shelters to, to create the psychological effect of the warfare to feel defenseless and refused to defend themselves, refused to defend the children of Israel against the attacks. And this was all in order to be able to push the children of Israel into surrendering and going to the Madrid, uh, quote-unquote, well, the Madrid War Conference. The, the, all these so-called peace conferences are conferences of war and how to chip away at the uh, strength of the children of Israel step by step, God forbid, and chip away at the Holy Land and ship away the lives of the children of Israel and to, and to surrender the security of the Arabs living in the Holy Land. And so the Rebbe was asked by people who were thinking of going to the Holy Land at the time that these missiles were threatened and the missiles were being fired, 
And the Rebbe said to them, the land of Israel is the safest place in the world. You should go. You should not change your plans. And you should not leave the land of Israel. You should not flee. You should not change your plans to go. So <clears throat> we always thought that this meant that there's these real dangers out there. Saddam Hussein is a real danger. But don't worry. The Israel is the safest place in the world. God Almighty is going to take care of us. And, <clears throat> and uh, don't worry. So I want to suggest that the Rebbe is pointing out something much, much deeper. And the much deeper lesson is the Rebbe is saying that the Holy Land is the safest place in the world. Don't change your plans. Don't leave if you're there already. Don't change your plans to go if you're planning to go. The Land of Israel is the safest place in the world. And anyone who tells you that there's any danger is a liar. Don't fall for the lies. Anyone who's telling you the Israeli intelligence, the Israeli government, the Israeli army, the Israeli media telling you about all these dangers and all these threats, they're lying to you. And they're going against God Almighty by telling you that there's a danger because the Holy Land is the safest place in the world. The dangers are manufactured. They're created by the Israeli government. They're funded by the Israeli government. Terrorists were funded by the Israeli government. The Israeli government created the terror organizations and supported the terror organizations over the regular Arabs who want to live in live in peace and just work to for the benefit of their own families and be contributing members of building uh, nice beautiful communities. Instead, they they promoted the terrorists over the over the regular Arabs. They promoted they forced the other Arab nations to fund Hamas. They've they've done everything possible to build up this threat of Iran for decades now. They stood by, if if not actively cooperating in the fall of the Shah, they 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 stood by idly in the fall of the Shah as the CIA and the American government toppled the Shah in order to create this Iranian regime to use it as a battering ram against the mental well, spiritual well being, and emotional well being of the children of Israel, and of course against the, the Iranian people. All this was done in order to create the false impression that the land of Israel is a dangerous place and that the children of Israel are in danger. The only danger comes from believing that there's a danger. Because there is no danger, as soon as we recognize that God Almighty is taking care of the children of Israel and wants to take care and is taking care of the entire world population, that all these ideas are fabricated by the Marxists, by Amalek, whether it's the Marxists wearing Israeli uniforms or it's whether the Marxists wearing PLO uniforms, the Marxists wearing Syrian uniforms, Iraqi uniforms, or the Marxists wearing the Iranian uniforms, or the Soviet uniforms, or the, American, the, the, the State Department, all of them are cooperating for the same objective to intimidate the children of Israel, God forbid, into surrendering. And our job is not to allow that to happen. How do we not allow that to happen? We have to insist that it's all a falsehood because it is all a falsehood. Their intentions are false. Their intentions are to war against the God of Israel. The, the, the war against the Torah, war against the children of Israel. And that's a war against all of humanity. We just came from Purim now. We saw that the war against the children of Israel done by Haman, by manipulating the Persian government into his service of the service of Amalek was a war against all of humanity because Amalek seeks to destroy every single human being. Amalek seeks to eradicate the divine image from the world. 